Mm, the same with Maribel, so let's start. Okay, Reina, good evening, welcome. Let's start a new unit, okay? Today we are going to start with a unit eight, the lesson B. Look at the picture. Tracy is at the bank. Which of the following transactions do you think she want to make? Because when you go to a bank, it's because you want something about it, no? Cash a check, no? Change dollars into euros? Get a ATM card, a credit card, no? This is an ATM card. Get a, a credit card or pay a bill. Bill means uh, electricity bill, the water bill, your cell phone bill, that's a bill, no? Internet bill, okay? Reina, what do you think Tracy goes to the bank? Why? Yeah, thank you. Maybe, no? Maybe she wants to change the dollars into euros. Maybe she's going to plan to travel to her country, no? In Europe. Yeah, maybe. In my opinion, she is going to cash a check to get some more, some cash. Let's see, okay? Let's see the conversation. Let's see the video. Intense. Oh, yeah, your guess was correct, Reina. They changed dollars into euros. And also my guess was correct, no? She wants to cash a check. Let's, want, uh, let's watch one more time, okay? One more, let's see.
Okay, our guest was correct, as I told you, Norena. She cashed a, cash a check. Then she changed dollars into euros because she wants to travel to Europe. To what country, Reina, do you pay attention? What country does Tracy wants to visit? France, Spain, Italy, Rome. Reina. What country does Tracy wants to visit? Well, she says that, um, Tracy, you know, I'm going to spend a week in Italy. She's going to visit Italy. Okay, let's go with now with our activities, okay? A. Let's listen one more time the activity, the audio, sorry, the conversation. And then you are going to tell me if this sentence are check, correct or not. Okay. Listen, please. One more time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, Reina, tell me please if the sentence are correct or not. The one. Yeah, it's correct. True. She cashes a check. Number two. True. Very good. It's true. Number three. A credit card, something like that. She obtains, she gets an ATM card. No. Okay. Was yeah. The next four. She gets a credit card. No. Number five. She pays a bill. No, she didn't pay. Pay a bill means uh, pagar una cuenta. Pays a bill is eso. Pays an electricity bill, a water bill, internet bill, your cell phone bill. No, that is pay a bill. No. Good. According to the audio, no. Okay. B. Activity B. According to the audio, let's answer these questions. Why can't Tracy cash the check? Why?
What is the problem with a check? Because the cashier at the bank says, no, change this. Hey, that's C is better. Yeah, as you see, that C is the answer because she says there is a problem here, no? The check has another name and her name is Tracy. So it's not possible to check to cash the check. Okay, number two. What are the two transactions that Tracy has to make? Yes, deposit the check and withdraw money. No, tiene que hacer primero ella un depósito a una cuenta, es lo que le han pedido. No, por eso le entrega el check. While draft money. No, that's good. Three. What does Tracy forget to do? She completed the, the papers. Then she gave the papers to the cashier. Take her money, fill out the wardrobe and deposit the slits, sign the check. Tracy forget to sign the check. In the video she says, no? Sign it, please. That's why she signed the check. Yes, so you don't fill the check, no? Sign, sign the check. Four, what does Tracy want to do? Yes. No. Change euros into dollars? No. She change. Yes. She wants to change dollars into euros. Why? Because she's going to Italy. Who is going to Italy? Tracy. Yes. Tracy is going to visit Italy. She's going to stay there for a week, she says. Yeah, that's good. Activity C, okay? Now let's work with some verbs. Some verbs. Now, these verbs have to be with money, okay? Please open your microphone, Reina. Repeat. Lent. Lent. Waste. Waste. Borrow, borrow, earn, earn, afford, afford, save, save, span, span. Okay, this course has to be with money. Tienen que ver con dinero estas palabras, ¿ya? Son verbos todos. Verbs. Lend. What is lend? Dar. Okay. Lend. Waste. Malgastar. Desperdiciar. Yeah. Malgastar. Waste. Borrow. Borrow means prestar. Borrow. Earn. Ganar. Pero no del verbo de, de, de ganar una competencia, porque en esos casos se dice win a race, win a competition. Este earn tiene que ver con ganar dinero. Y solamente es con earn money. ¿Ok? Earn money. Afford. Afford means costear. O sea que sí te alcanza. It's possible to pay. Afford. Save. Save 
well, you have no more meanings, but tiene varios significados. Safe es salvar, pero también es ahorrar. ¿Ya? Yeah? Save money. Ahorrar. Save. And spend. Spend means gastar. Pero gastar con propósito. O sea, algo como bien invertido. No es como waste. Waste es desperdiciarlo. ¿Ok? Waste and spend are very similar, but not the same. Ok, one more time, please, Reina. Open your microphones. Repeat. Lent. Waste. Earn. Borrow. Afford. Save. Spend. Ok, I'm going to give you... Three minutes, three minutes, please, to use these words and complete the conversation, okay? You have three minutes. Hi Maribel, good evening, welcome. Hi Maribel, good evening, welcome to the class. Okay, Mar Maribel, we are working in the unit eight, lesson B, in the activity C. We are using these words about money to complete this. To complete this conversation. Try to complete, okay? You have three minutes to complete this conversation using these verbs.
Okay, tell me please the answer, okay? Let's see. Pete, would you like to go out for lunch today? Oh, yes. But let's go to a cheap restaurant. All right. I'm afraid I can... Yes, of course. Very good. I'm afraid I can't afford anything expensive at the moment. I can't pay, no? I can't pay that. Yeah, good. What's wrong, Pete? I'm getting paid in a week and I don't have much money left. Well, like everybody, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Don't they pay you well at your new job? It's not that. I... A lot of money, yeah. It's not that I earn a lot of money, yeah. I earn, gano mucho dinero, I earn a lot of money. But as soon as I get paid, I waste most of it. Waste is desperdiciar. I waste most of it. Oh, Pete, you shouldn't. Shouldn't. Yes, very good. You shouldn't spend your money on silly things. Silly things are um, full things, no? To uh, cosas tontas. Silly things. I always save some. Yo siempre ahorro, no? Save some money. Really? Can I? Yes. Can I borrow some money from you? O sea, puedes prestarme dinero, ¿no? Can I borrow some money from you? Ok, I'll lend you some to get by until you get paid. You will promise me that you will be more careful in the future. Thanks, Joanna. Ok, this is the correct way. Good. Reina, please. Uh, Maribel, repeat. Open your microphones. Repeat. Afford. Earn, waste, spend, save, borrow, land. Okay, remember, afford means it's possible to pay. O sea, lo puedes pagar, ¿no? Afford. Puedes costearlo. Earn means ganar. Waste, desperdiciar, malgastar. Spent, gastar, pero con un propósito. O sea, bueno, como invertir, spent. Save, ahorrar. Borrow, prestar. And lend, dar. Ok, so let's practice this conversation, ok. Please, Reina, you letter A. Maribel, you letter B. Ok, let's practice this conversation. Start, please, Reina.
Yeah, that's good. Good. Okay. This is about, as I told you, bank, not about money. Okay, now let's talk about the grammar, okay? The grammar for today. Ah, uh, before this. Oh, yes, let's finish with this, okay? Also because the letter D is also about vocabulary, about money. Change, pay, deposit, credit card, you see? Also it's about money. Let's complete the activity D, okay? Then I'm going to explain the grammar. Let's see. One. I don't have any money. I need to use a a loan. What is loan in Spanish? Do you know? What is loan? Because it says you don't have money and you need a loan. A loan. What is a loan? Tell me in Spanish, what is, it's correct, but what, what is? Yes, very good, that is. I don't have any money, no, I don't have money. And I am, we are in 24, no, they pay in 28. I need to use a loan, necesito un préstamo. Two, I often use because I earn a lot of cash on me. Yes. I often use credit cards because I don't like carrying a lot of cash on me. No papers, no coins, no? Only credit cards. Good. Three. You can... Yes, you can make... Puedes hacer, no? You can make a deposit at any branch of the bank. En cualquier agencia, ¿no? Por así decirlo. En any branch of the bank. Yeah. You can pay a deposit. No, you don't pay a deposit. You make a deposit. Four. We have decided to get a... Yes, because we want to buy a new house. As you know, house is very expensive. Five. I want to... Pay three dollars into pounds. Pounds means libras. Change. Yes, change is the correct way. I want to change these dollars into pounds because I'm going to the UK. Six. I always change my money here because they never charge commission. Yes. Nunca me cobran, me, me cargan, ¿no? Charge, comisiones. Commission. That is, okay? Seven. What do you think? Yeah, very good. Withdrawal. What is withdrawal? Yes. You're going to deposit or withdraw, okay? You're going to put money or you're going to ask some of them. That says, okay, this vocabulary is about bank, okay? Now, let's talk about the grammar. In this unit, in the unit eight, we are going to learn about infinitive and about gerund. This is gerund. Teacher, infinitive and gerund? Yes. This is very long, but then we are going to work with that. First this, look. In English, we have two kinds of verbs, okay? Geruns and infinitives. What are geruns and infinitives? Well, a gerund, you see, is a verb which ends in ing, but it's used it as a noun. El gerund es, una, es un verbo que termina en ing. Pero ya no funciona como verbo, sino es un sustantivo. Por, por ejemplo, ¿no? Aquí, she loves swimming. El verbo es loves. Swimming viene a ser natación. Ella ama la, la natación. She loves swimming. I like reading books. 
The verb is like. Reading books es la lectura de libros. Es un sustantivo. Ok. Reading books. Ese es yeru. Infinitive se llama a los verbos que empiezan, o perdón, que no terminan con ing, sino que antes del verbo aparece la palabra to. An infinitive is a verb which is preceded, ve, preceded, y que antes del verbo aparece la palabra to. Y se utiliza como un verbo, ¿no? For example, I need to go shopping. Necesito ir de compras. No se dice I need going shopping, no. I need to go shopping. He helped me to understand the lesson, the same. To, ve, aparece la palabra to. He helped me to understand the lesson. Pero en el infinitivo, en este infinitivo, hay dos tipos de infinitives. Unos donde sí se utiliza el to, necesariamente, sí o sí. Y hay otros donde se puede omitir esa tú, se puede quitar. Por ejemplo, en este caso, ¿no? He helped me understand the lesson. Es lo mismo decir, he helped to understand the lesson. Son lo mismo. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Uh, mm, ya yeah, está con lo del audio hace ratos. Ok. This, miren. De nuevo, ¿ya? Yeah? Cuando hablamos de verbos en inglés hay dos tipos de verbos. Uno que llamamos gerund y el otro que llamamos infinitive. El gerund siempre, siempre es un verbo con ing, pero no funciona como verbo, se convierte en un sustantivo. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, she loves swimming. I like reading books. La palabra swimming y reading books son sustantivos. El verbo es loves, like. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ese es el yero. El infinitive son verbos que tienen la palabra to antes del verbo. To, eso se llama infinitive. Y se utilizan cuando unimos dos verbos. ¿ve? I need to go shopping. Necesito ir de compras. He helped me to understand the lesson. Él me ayudó a entender la clase. ¿Ya? Pero el infinitive, hay dos tipos de infinitive. O sea, uno donde se tiene que ir sí es sí el to, to go, to run, ¿no? To play, I want to play, ¿sí? I want to play soccer tomorrow. ¿Ve? Sí o sí tiene que ir el to. Y hay otros donde se puede omitir, o sea, puedes eliminar el to. Por ejemplo, he helped me understand the lesson. ¿Es ok? Yeah, it's ok. Eso es lo que está en, nuestro, en, en la plataforma, ¿ya? Yeah? Here. ¿Ve? El infinitive, ¿ok? Vamos a empezar con el infinitive. There are two types of infinitive. Full infinitive, very infinitive. Como dijimos, el full infinitive sí o sí tiene que ir el verbo to. En cambio, en el very infinitive... Puedes quitarle la T, la tú. Directo va play. ¿Cuándo utilizo esto? Well, you know, ¿no? These examples. ¿ve? Helen went to the park to meet her friends. ¿Sí? Fue al parque a encontrarse con sus amigos. Went to the park to meet. This is infinitive. He hasn't managed to finish the project. To finish, ¿ve? infinitive. It's difficult to understand Chinese. To understand, infinitive. I was pleased to see you, to see your sister again. To see, infinitive. ¿Ve? También van después de to or, or enough, como dicen, ¿no? He is too short to be a basketball player. To be. He is tall enough to be a basketball player. Pero los, infin los infinitives no se utilizan con cualquier verbo, solo con estos, ¿no? Want, would, like, hope, design, manage, plan, arrange, advise, choose, learn, offer, promise, refuse, expert, and more. Afraid, surprise, free, happy, really, this, ¿no? After these adjectives. O cualquier adjetivo. 
En cambio el otro, que vimos que es better infinitive, se puede omitir. No es necesario ponerlo. Por ejemplo, ¿con cuáles? Ya conocemos, con los modas. Cuando yo digo, I can swim really fast. No, no tengo que decir, I can to swim. No. I can swim. I could. I could speak English when I was a young, when I was a child. I could. I will travel tomorrow. Con will tampoco se utiliza el tú. Va directo el verbo. I would like. I would like to earn more money. You should go to the doctor. ¿Ve? Nunca hemos usado con estos el tú. Con el más también, ¿no? You must be careful. No usamos el tú. Se puede eliminar. A eso se refiere. ¿Ok? Let's practice this, ¿ok? Esos son los infinitives. El otra opción es el gerum. El gerum son estos verbos que aparecen acá. After each verb express preference, beginning. Después de like, o love, o hate, o dislike, enjoy, or prefer, puede ir un gerum. I enjoy listening to music, ¿ve? Listening to music es el gerum. But I hate dancing. Dancing es el gerum. Hate. No se puede decir, I enjoy to listen to music. No. I enjoy listening to music. I hate dancing. Ok. I stop. I go swimming. With imagining. Ok. There are many, there are many birds, but we are going to learn just the, the most important. Yeah, let's start with this. Ok, let's see. Look. Tell me, ¿qué utilizo acá? Going or to go? I really don't feel like. Tell me, tell me, what do you think? Going or to go? Reina, Maribel, tell me. Por ejemplo, aquí, like, el verbo like. Going to go. Yeah, very good. The next. If you want to play, learn, to play tennis, you have to practice. Digo, want learning or want to learn. To learn, ¿ok? Porque el want no es un verbo gerum, es un verbo infinitive. O sea, después de want tiene que ir sí o sí to, to learn. I want to earn, I want to play, I want to study French, you see? Yeah. I'm planning. Very good. Estoy planeando tener una gran fiesta. Eso es lo que dice, ¿no? I'm planning to have. No se, no, no se puede decir I'm planning having, no. Do you like... Con like. Tell me, tell me. Si fallas, fallas, pues, ¿no? Y vamos aprendiendo. Do you like... Tell me, tell me. Yeah, some baiting. Yeah, las demás para ti, yeah? Pretend. Please go to the chat. This is gerum or infinitive? Please go to the world wall when you finish. Raise your hand and show me, okay?
When you finish, please share your screen, okay? Show me the score. Yeah, let's see. Mm, I can see your score, Maribel. No. How much did you get? Not yet. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sure you do finish. No? Yeah, don't worry, Maribel, it's okay. You don't finish. The idea is that you practice. I'm going to give you another link, okay, Maribel? Another about infinitive. You are going to match now with infinitive, just infinitive. You have another link in the chat, please, Maribel. The same. Open that link and much, but this time is about infinitive.
right now when you finish the same send me the screenshot to the whatsapp okay Bien, Laira, ¿cuándo comienza el espectáculo? Pronto, ten paciencia Tengo paciencia Es mi principal cualidad, falta mucho ¿Siempre actúas así? Con frecuencia Gracias, Dick Laira, no hemos visto nada que parezca lluvia de fuego en las últimas noches. ¿Cómo sabes qué pasará hoy? Porque cada año es igual. Oh, ¿la misma noche cada año? No tiene sentido. A menos que el planeta viaje por un campo de desechos como una zona de asteroides en cuyo por caso... Por favor, no arruinemos la diversión de esto. ¿Eh? Disculpe. Cuando era niña, papá me decía que la lluvia de fuego eran las lágrimas de los ancestros que deseaban reunirse. Una estrella fugaz. Así llamamos a la lluvia de fuego en nuestro planeta. Se supone que debes pedir un deseo. En Chulak la llamamos Talparraim. ¿Qué significa? ¿Estrella fugaz? Ok, Reina. Oh, Maribel, sorry. Ok, my friends. We are going to stop here, ok, the class. On Monday, we are going to continue with our lesson. Okay, thanks for coming. Have a nice weekend. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.